SpaceX was formed on the premise of putting people on Mars, Mars One is now asking the question, well, if we put those people on Mars, do they have to come back again? My name's Josh Richards. I'm one of 100 people shortlisted to the Mars One project. They've slowly whittled the group down from the sort of the 202,000 that expressed an interest. There was 705 of us that passed the medical that was required, and then there was 100 of us that got through the psych exam, and somehow this ginger leprechaun was one of them, so. <laughs> A lot of other candidates have just kept doing what they were doing. They've maintain the regular jobs that they had. We've got ER doctors, we've got people who are studying, we've got all sorts of different areas. I completely turned my life inside out when I found out about this. I threw everything at it. But the aim eventually is to get down to 24 candidates who start full-time training. Have them learn the skills that they need to learn, polish the skills that they might already have, but do it in a stressful environment. Do it in an environment where they're simulating living on Mars. It's a challenge, and it can be a challenge dating. Turning around to someone and saying, you know, I've signed up for one way mission to Mars is a fairly confronting thing to sort of throw at someone straight off the bat. I've definitely a winding path. It hasn't been clear cut at all. I knew I wanted to be an astronaut when I was seven and turned around to my folks and said, that's what I want to do when I grow up. But anyway, I'll bring you down into here because this is my childhood room. It's kind of, this is all the stuff I've got. Pretty much everything I actually care about fits into that. This is what carries my life, I guess. Don't need much. Oh, it's my, um, it's my old army slouch hat. I grew up in that. My work with the army was as a combat engineer and I specialised in booby traps and mine warfare. I never thought that I would, I would make it to 30. The work that I was getting involved in, the kind of stuff that we were doing, very high mortality rate. You make a small mistake with something like that. Like, if you do, it's, it's, you're done. I'd been with the commandos and went out on an exercise, got bitten by a tick and uh, got, got Lyme's disease. And that gave me the chance to think about what I was doing um, and if, whether or not I wanted to work in a job which required me to shoot people. Where I get meaning from is being involved with something that's far bigger than me. Sending people one way to Mars is far bigger than the individual. So when people talk to me about, oh, you know, you have to say goodbye to friends and family, I'm like, you're literally doing something that is in the highest and best interests of humanity. You can't get too fixated on the individual impacts. Having people literally live on another planet, perspective shifts, and you stop caring so much about your country or your tribe or your local city or whatever and you start realising that we're actually one species. I think that's ultimately what this is all about.